guys, welcome back to Jerusalem Playroom. My name is Jamika, and as you can see, I have baby girl Jerusalem here. I wanted to do a video showing you a haul that I did on Friday and Saturday. And also, I wanted to show you guys this beautiful dress that I thrifted and I showed in a previous video. This outfit here, guys, would be perfect for the summer or the 4th of July holiday because of the uh, red, blue, and white color scheme and the little sailboats in there. I just matched it up with a little red bow. And then she is wearing just some little white shoes. If you want to use sandals, you keep on uh, white sandals, you can. I thought this was just perfect for um, putting it on her and it looks great. I think this is a size 24 months, I'm not for sure. With the up and coming Easter holiday, guys, you don't have to do pastel colors. This it be this is right here is something perfect that you can put on your little one, an inexpensive outfit. You can um, do a little white cardigan, or you can do a little blue cardigan if you want to keep it um, with the colors, or if you want to go bold, you can do a red. So when the holidays come up, think outside of the box because I know a lot of times we use pink, blues, and yellows for Easter. But this right here is something that I will let my little girl wear if I had a little girl for the holiday. Okay, let me show you guys something that I took a chance on and that is this little guy here. I always take a chance when I'm purchasing electronic toys. Now, when I got him, I was like, there's a possibility that he will not work. So I brought him home and I noticed that the batteries um, had corrosion on them. So I took him out and I put some more batteries in, but he still wasn't working. So my husband suggested to me to clean the compartment, the battery compartment out. And basically, guys, I just used Coca-Cola. So I had a flat, uh, flathead screwdriver, scraped all of the rust out of it. Then I got a Q-tip, dipped it in a Coke, and went in and cleaned the little area, um, the little coils. I cleaned those out, and then I got a towel, a little towel to go in and try to make sure it was dry and not damp. When I put the batteries in, he started working. So let me show you guys some things that he can say. I'm going to be clean. And I tried to push his head to see if there was anything up here that would make him talk, but it seems like he only says three things, and he may say more, but I'm this is just what I noticed for right now. So I'm glad I got him, and with this doll's, uh, I'm sorry, this electronic toy, cleaning him, guys, what I did was I got some baby wipes and wiped him down. I got some disinfectant spray and sprayed that sort of like light saw then I got a brush and then just started brushing him he smells good he's clean and he is going to be a part of our playroom so so happy I took a chance on this guys and so with any of the electronic toys you will be taking a chance on them so the next thing that I got in that store was this little cute little hat that we kiss me and it has some little socks with it. This can be something that for uh, the holiday next year. And all you have to do is just put a little white onesie on it. Then I got um, this little top here. And I basically got it just because of the colors. And it looks like something a, a child would have uh, drawn. Then I saw this cute little outfit here. It is a six to nine months, and I got it for Jerusalem May can wear this. Um, I basically got it because of the lemon, and it came with the little bottoms. And let me, guys, let me pan my camera out just a little bit. I got it because of the little uh, bottoms. So usually if I see outfits with the bottom, I go ahead and get it. And guys, there is a fly in here, so I just wanted to apologize because it was so beautiful friday that i let all the windows up in my um house and <laughs> i opened up the doors to let some fresh air in so um he must have got in and i'm just not seeing him so i'm gonna kill him in a minute then um the next thing that i got 
the next uh was this cute little uh baby yoda t-shirt that reads cutie on board so anytime i see different one of these i grab them then i went to a um, another store i think i did and i'm not sure if i got this one at the same store or not but i had one long time ago and i got an, another one and it reads little sprout and i've seen these even in jumpers where they they're uh if you get the legs they can be gender neutral for a little boy but this is a dress so any color little onesie under that would be cute and then i saw i think i got this from that store also i'm not for sure but i'm going to put this on baby girl Jonah lynn it's a 18 months and i just like this uh color palette on here with the little collar to make it look like a flower so that's really cute and i can't wait to dress her in that then the next store i went to guys when i saw this three piece i immediately got it and put it in my cart it is that little cute little dress and it came with a matching bib. It's from um, Nicole Miller. Came with a matching bib. And then it came with a headband. So this is a zero to three months. And I think I'm going to let uh, one of my, my smaller babies wear that. So, And then I saw this. This cute little vintage like Winnie the Pooh costume. And it is from the Disney store. And it's a size zero to three months. And then I got this cute little set here, guys. It came with a little top, um, the little pants, and then it came with a little hat. So this is something perfect that can be worn right now. Okay. Now I want to show you guys um, the second place that I went to. Uh, this was on yesterday. So this is going to be my haul for Saturday. One place that I went to was Hobby Lobby, and I went there for to get some cellophane to do a basket and uh, some bowls. And so I got, and I always checked out their clearance aisle. So things that was on clearance, and I bought some of these Chanel stems. I got two packs; they were seventy-four cents. Then I bought some jewelry. I got this little cute. Um, little earrings and they were 99 cents and then I got uh -oh, this little charm that says let the sun shine in and that was 99 cents this one reads, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That was for 74 cents. Then I got this. You can make these as little uh, brooches, pins, or, or necklace. It's a little mermaid for $1.74. And then the biggest one that I got was this here. It was $2.74. It is a giraffe. Isn't that beautiful, guys? And this would be the perfect time to get things like this because you can give these as gifts for Mother's Day. So I just really thought that was cute and unique. Okay, so that was my Hobby Lobby haul. Then I got, this is the second haul. And before I show you guys that one, let me go here. I got this. Uh, two sweaters this one because of that cute color palette guys isn't that beautiful and this is from jamboree it's a three to six months then i got this one from ralph lauren um this one is a six month so this would be the perfect time to look for sweaters and cardigans because it's, the weather kind of changes a little and guys look at this oh this is a nine months outfit this is just so cute and i like the fact that the back is all the way up some of them do not have the back but this is perfect for your little one if you're going to the park then i saw this and when i'm looking guys they uh this one was a two-piece it was put together and sometimes and i'm glad i'm looking now because i supposed to check for the buttons but i didn't so I got that because of the little cupcake on the bottom. That's cute. 
and then here's the diaper uh, the diaper covers then I saw this one here now this wasn't a two-piece it was separate so here's the little pants and then I when I kept looking I saw the top I think is this the back and this the front so I'm thinking it goes like this it, it could go, I, I'm not for sure which way it goes, but this is what the um, the top looks like. And it says six to nine months. And if it's too big, you know, you can always sew it up a little bit to make the straps fit your doll or your baby. Now, this item here, guys, when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to put baby Jahari in this. This is from, it says Nanette. Nannikins by Nanette. But you look at this. These are the little pants. The little shorts. And then look at this top. Guys, this is perfect for the Easter holiday. Oh my goodness. I just, when I saw it, I immediately grabbed it and put it in my cart. And I, it, now this was considered two piece, guys. It was just $4 and it's worth it. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to put him in there. And finally, let me show you guys some jewelry that I got. I went to the dollar store also. And when I went to the dollar store, I got some um, items. And first, I got this here from one of the thrift stores. Anytime I see a little necklace, it was $2. So if I see stuff like this, I just go ahead and get it for my dolls. And I went ahead and... Just showing you guys, I went ahead and cut it to be easy. And this is a, a the dollar store has adorable. So here we have the little clock from Bell, Beauty and the Beast. This one here is like little unicorn dolls. So I got that one. And then uh -oh. finally, I got this little pack with necklace. And I was trying to I was trying to find different kinds, but I only saw I, I got this one. So this is the Ariel. So these will make great gifts, guys, for like stocking stuffers for Easter baskets. Because you can put these in eggs or whatever. So or just bag fillers. Easter basket fillers rather. So I just wanted to show that. And I did get some more little personal stuff for myself, but that that it didn't have anything to do with the plate. All right, guys. Well, anyway, this completes my haul. I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful outfit on um, Jerusalem. I'm so glad that I got it. And like I said, I'm just so happy that I find like little unique items and I put on my doll. And just to let you know, if you know, you have, you go in there and you find something, just you can be a trendsetter. <laughs> because <laughs> nothing seems like it ever goes out of style well anyway thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned because you never know what's going to be in the playroom okay you guys have a great day bye bye